The topic under discussion is the hepatitis virus. This topic will be made very easy in just three points. The point number one is the types of the hepatitis virus and the point number two is the structure. Here we'll be discussing about those types of the hepatitis virus. Means we'll discuss the structures of all those types. And in third point we'll discuss with you guys the life cycle or replication of all these types. Yes, of all these types. Now, let's come and start our discussion from the very first point, the types. We have hepatitis A, B, C, D, E. One, two, three, four, five types of the hepatitis viruses. Now, let's come towards the next point, that is the structure of the hepatitis virus. Now, here, we'll discuss the structure of all the types, okay? A, B, C, D, E. One very simple difference, one very simple difference is that the B virus, it is different from all A, E, C, and D. Now, where is the difference? The difference is in its nucleic acid, that is partially double-strained DNA. And rest of the viruses, A, E, C, D, they all have RNA. And one, another very important difference is in the RNA of the hepatitis D virus. Now, this has got a negative sense, single-strained circular RNA. Circular RNA is here. And that is also negative sense. And you guys might know this very well. That negative sense RNA is not able to go directly to the ribosomes for the translation into proteins. They are first responsible to synthesize complementary RNA. This negative sense will synthesize, first of all, complementary RNA. Then that complementary RNA will come towards the ribosomes for translation into proteins. Okay, very simple difference. Positive will go directly to the ribosomes. Negative is responsible, first of all, to synthesize complementary RNA. Then that complementary RNA will come towards the ribosomes for translation. Clear. And now let's come towards uh, the common uh, points in A, E, C, and D. We'll discuss B after discussing these RNA viruses. A has got a nucleic acid that is RNA. The same is the case with E. It has got again the RNA. And another thing is that they have got the protein layer known as capsid. So like this, we call A and E as in short, in one sentence, as nucleocapsid hepatitis viruses okay nucleocapsid they are only have a nucleocapsid now what they don't have is the envelope that is actually present in the hepatitis c and d type okay well simple hepatitis c has got rna rna capsid capsid and envelope so they have got three one is uh, the nucleic acids another is capsid and another one is envelope now they have envelope but a and e they don't have envelope the very simple difference between these now and uh, now let's come towards the B. In the B virus, I told you guys that it has got the nucleic acid different from the A, E, C, and D. That is the DNA. Partially double strained DNA. What partially double strained? Now, this is actually partially double strained DNA. So, in this, we have this uh, DNA. Along with that, we have another layer that is of the capsid, which is of protein again. So, we have protein layer, nucleic acid, protein layer, and envelope. So, like this, our hepatitis B. D and C. B, C, D. They are actually the enveloped viruses, whereas E and E, they are non-enveloped viruses. And the rest of the differences I told you guys in a very simple and easy way. Now, let's come towards the life cycle or replication of these viruses. Let me see. Is it visible or not? It is visible, yeah. Now let's come towards the third point, that is the life cycle or replication. In this point, we'll talk about the life cycle and replication of all these types, as I told you people in the beginning. So uh, for, this is the first uh, portion for all the viruses A, E, C, D. They all will undergo the same mechanism, only the virus, that is the D1, which is having a negative sense, it is responsible, first of all, to go to synthesize its complementary RNA, then that RNA, again, will undergo the same mechanism. So like this, this particular simple schematic diagram is valid for all these RNA viruses, A, E, C, and D. What will happen? First of all, this virus will find the hepatocytes. Hepatitis, okay? So now here we have two hepatic cells. First of all, these viruses, what will they do? How is it going to replicate? As they enter in the hepatocyte, 
they will release their RNA along with the RNA there will be the RNA dependent RNA polymerase remember we have two types of the RNA RNA dependent RNA polymerase DNA dependent RNA polymerase so now here it is RNA dependent RNA polymerase so what will it do very simple it will actually synthesize the copies of this particular RNA so here we'll be having several copies now those copies are actually needed at the end how like we'll tell you just now concentrate first of all these RNA they will come towards the ribosomes here they will be translated into proteins got here they will be translated into proteins now these proteins are of several types okay rna polymerases capsules protein etc i have been telling you this point since the very, very first lectures of viruses that these proteins are all those proteins that are actually needed for this particular virus okay for any virus now here we just we see two uh, proteins sometimes uh, three are discussed uh, as we discussed in the last lectures like uh, capsid vhs vp16 etc those are the, pr the proteins needed okay so now here we are having the viruses they are just having a protein layer that is of capsid and along with that they are uh, shown with the uh, nucleic acid either dna or rna so like this there are other like rna polymerases and dna polymerases these are all the proteins which will be synthesized of after the translation by means of these ribosomes that's it done so now what will happen all these proteins will be synthesized after the synthesis these will start assembling RNA polymerase will come capsid proteins will come and all the proteins will come they will be assembly of all these then after the assembly there will be the packaging now this packaging is going to be very easy and simple now whatever is needed for a particular virus that will be packed suppose uh, if here four viruses are going to be released at a time what will happen in each virus they will be having nucleic acid the capsid and as they are releasing in the meanwhile they will have envelope so in each virus there will be specific specific material all the proteins will be assembled then those proteins will be equally distributed in each virus so like this packaging and then release will be done after the release the particular virus will be free to go and find another hepatic cell and infect that one so like this they will be infecting and releasing infecting and releasing this is the life cycle or replication of all these rna viruses a e c d now what remains is hepatitis b virus hepatitis b virus h b v now it has got a little bit different uh, mechanism of replication or its life cycle is a little bit different now that is in what sense very simple because of its dna now this will inject its dna into the hepatocytes now this is actually partially double strain dna this will target the nucleus in the nucleus of the host cell of the host cell that is actually hepatocyte okay now in that hepatocytes it will start completing its partial double strain so like this what will happen now this is a half or you can say partial double strain dna as it enters into the nucleus there its completion will be done so at the end we'll be having fully double strained dna of the virus then this virus by means of its own enzyme that is rna polymerase it will transcribe into messenger rna and pre-genomic rna so like this two rna will be synthesized the one is messenger rna the two the second one is the pre-genomic rna now this pre-genomic rna will go forward in the meanwhile reverse transcriptase will come and will bind to the pre-genomic rna now you guys know this very well from the dna the rna is synthesized by mean of transcription okay by way of transcription now this is rna which is going to synthesize the dna dna to rna is transcription from rna to dna is reverse transcription so what is going to happen from the rna a dna will be synthesized from the rna a dna will be synthesized so it is a reverse transcription so for transcription we need enzymes transcriptase and for the reverse transcription we need enzymes reverse transcriptase very simple and easy now this pre genomic rna by means of the reverse transcriptase will be converted into partially double strained dna which is of the virus hbv now these dna's will stay here in the meanwhile these messenger rna's which are coming towards the ribosomes for translation at the end these translated rna will be providing the proteins now these proteins and these synthesized partially double strained dna they will start assembling after the assembly there will be there will be another step that is the packaging packaging now in the packaging what will happen in the packaging in each 
HPV virus, there will be partially double strained DNA, the capsid, and is they are going to release, they will take an envelope from the hepatocytes, and then again they will be free to find another hepatocytes and inject that one. After the injection, they will infect that one also. Like this, HBV completes its life cycle or replication. So this is all from my side.